What's up, Centennial? I'm your host, Riley Doherty. And I'm Evelyn Honeycutt. And you're watching Season 10. Episode 10. Released on 1010. Of The Loft. Nights. Camera. Action. What's up, Centennial? It's Lysha with your weekly announcements. If you need to retake your pictures, come on Tuesday, October 29th to retake them. Your girls and boys soccer team have a parent meeting on October 17th at 6 p.m. Juniors and seniors, we're back at again with some more college visits. Agnes Scott, St. John, and University of Kentucky all on October 17th. Make sure you come and you're all pink and support your nights at the Fortress tonight. That's all for this week. Have a wonderful five-day weekend, and we'll see you next week. Go Knights! Welcome back to the Wheel of Doom. I'm James, this is Jeremy, and this is... Beckett. Beckett, when you're ready, you can spin the wheel. It landed on, pick, pick your, your poison. poison, so you can do whatever oh. you want. I'm kicking a field goal. All right, he's gonna yes, kick sir. a field goal. We'll see you out there. We're out here on the kicking field. It's about a 25 yard field goal. So, Becky, do you think you could do it? Oh, of course. All right, he's confident, I'm confident. Yes, we'll sir. see how he does. I get, I get three attempts. Three. Ah, oh, shucks. Shucks! All right, I'm hitting this one. All right, third time's a charm. There we go. There we go. That was a great performance by Beckett. He made it on the third attempt. How do you feel? You know, I always knew I had it in me, but the shoes made it a little harder, but I got it done. He did great. We'll see you next week on the Wheel of Doom. Oh, hey, Manny. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to give a shout out to Sidewalks. Yeah keeping me off the streets. You know what's gonna be great is uh, when I get cremated, cause it'll be the last time I can have a smoking hot body. Hey, um, how much does a chimney cost? Mm. Check it out. This, it's not, there's not even all. Ah, it's free. It's on the house. Oh man, uh, my wife, Asked if I could stop singing Wonderwall to her. I said maybe. Where do basketball players go when they need a uniform? New Jersey. You know, I'm real tired of people saying that America is the stupidest country in the world. Honestly, I think it's Europe. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, well, um, hope you're doing well, Mr. Manny. Today I'm doing a house tour because we all know none of you losers will ever be invited here. Let's go! One, five, eight, four, three. Stop. <laughs> just take, it just takes a second. This is the grand foyer. It's where we throw all the balls. Catch! I hate everyone here. Literally hate everyone here. A lot of you guys have been asking me how much I pay a month in rent. First of all, it's none of your business. Second of all, it's $30,000. This week on Be Kind, I'm here with... David War. David, I like your chain. Mm. What do you like? What I like, um, Coach Kirkland. His style of coaching. Who am I here with? Coach Kirkland. All right, someone gave you a compliment about how you had a very good coaching style. Would you like to give a compliment to anybody else? Sure, uh, Coach Balski has a great fantasy football team. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who am I here with? Uh, coach Balski. All right, Coach, someone gave you a compliment that you had a very good fantasy football team. Would you like to give a compliment to anybody else? You know what, I would. I want to give a, a compliment to uh, Mr. Billups. 
That man is the most well-dressed man in this school. I wish I had half his attire in my closet. <laughs> Thank you. You know my hero today? Mr. Billups. All right, Mr. Billups, someone said that you are very well dressed. Would you like to give a compliment to anyone else? I say thank you, and Brad has a great smile. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's it for Be Kind. We'll see you next week. Yo, what's wrong? Yeah, I'm having a bad day. Yo, cheer up. We have a five day weekend next week. Really? Yes. My name is Avery Wallace. My name is Leah Eid. I'm Maggie Norman. I'm Katie O'Neill. But volleyball has impacted me by giving me something to distract from school and like friends. It just, I can take out anything on me with the ball. It's given me like a sense of meaning and like grit and hard work and something just to like go to every day, um, like as a routine. Volleyball has impacted me by making me more time aware. Volleyball has impacted me by helping me gain a stronger work ethic. Volleyball has impacted me by giving me discipline and making me punctual because I like have something to commit to every day. Um, I like all the bus rides and getting to play with my sister on varsity was really fun. My favorite memory was when we went to a away camp and a security guard had to help me in Parallel Park. Um, my favorite memory with Centennial Volleyball was this year at the Chattanooga camp when we ordered Big Stop. In this season, we went to overnight camp at Chattanooga, and we ordered a wing stuff and all hung out in the hotel room. I'm going to miss all the friendships because we've gotten really close as a team, and I'm going to miss seeing each other every day. I'm going to miss all the people, all the underclassmen. Um, I've created really good bonds, and I'm just going to miss them. I'm also going to miss like being able to play so much. I'm going to miss all the friends because we all have gotten close, and it's really fun to be around them. Um, I'm going to miss the friendships that I made that I've had since freshman year, as well as all the jokes. I'm going to miss most about the team, just like how close everyone's gotten and like just the community around us. Cameraman, oh, Dasani's the best water. What the heck, Katie? I thought you said we were dressing up. Yeah, dressing up. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be drinking water. Anyways, we're going to start with A. Tastes like Kroger brand, so. No, yeah, I see that. I think it's Kroger brand. I agree. Okay. I don't think that's Sasani, right? Or maybe. No, I don't think it is, but I think it's Aquafina. Oh, I don't really, I don't care for Aquafina, yeah. No, that's school water. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's school, school water. water. That's definitely school water. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that's, I said this is Kroger brand, so I think this is Kirkland, because Kroger and Kirkland taste the same to me. I think this is the Sasani. The Sasani? Yeah. Okay, then. I think that's a Sony. Let me put my fine taste buds to use. Yeah. It has like a little bit of a... Yeah, no, that is Dasani. That's definitely Dasani. Yeah. So this one Best leaves... water. That's smart water. Okay. All right, so... Jumbo, please. Correct answer. A, Kroger. B, Kirkland. Oh. C, oh. School. Yeah. Okay, yeah. D, Dasani. <laughs> No way. <laughs> e, Aquafina. D for Dasani. Oh, oh my god. Okay, yeah. so I actually. E, Aquafina. And F is Smart Water. There's no way. So you guys got oh two god. out of six.
Man, it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Can you believe it's been over four years since the rise has been on? Four years? Yeah. Wow. Hey Centennial, get excited because next Friday, AV Tech is bringing back a show that we haven't done in a while called The Rise. This show will feature a lot of AV Tech's best work and will have a very strong sense of community and giving back to others. Make sure you follow along and tune in next Friday for The Rise. Go Knights! And remember Knights fans, there is a football game tonight at the Fortress. Show up in your best pink and come support your Knights as they tackle breast cancer. Good afternoon Knights, this Friday for our Pink Out game against Cambridge, there will be a low of 50 and a high of 73. This Saturday for the first day of our five day weekend, it is a low of 50 and a high of 73. For Sunday, there will be a low of 50 and a high of 82. Our, our best, best days are ahead. Go Knights! Hello everybody, my name is Coach Birdsong. And I'm Victoria. And today we are going to be doing the elephant's toothpaste experiment. So what we have in front of me is I've got some hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2. I've got some dish soap and I've got some potassium iodide which will serve as our catalyst. So to begin, I'm going to put the dish soap into the large graduated cylinder containing the hydrogen peroxide. And what this is going to do is add kind of a bubbling effect. Whenever I add my potassium iodide to my solution, that is going to break apart the bonds between the H2O2, allowing a lot of gas to be released. And because of the dish soap, the dish soap is going to collect the oxygen that's being released and we're going to get a reaction. So I'm going to just kind of swirl this around and mix it together. I'm going to add some food coloring just for dramatic effect. And Victoria, what do you have to say to the viewers? Don't try this at home. Three, two, one. Boom. Woo! Thanks for watching. Go Knights! Hey Riley. Hey Evelyn. Why don't football players wear glasses? 
because it's a contact sport. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Week 10 SDSPN. I'm your host, Slam Braun. I'm Matthew Braunett, and let's get into it. Centennial alumni and University of Minnesota starting quarterback Max Brosmer led the Golden Gophers to a shocking upset over number 11 ranked USC. Brosmer went 15 for 19 passing with 169 yards, but really showed off with his feet as he rushed for all three of Minnesota's touchdowns. After a huge region win against Cambridge, the Centennial Knights girls volleyball team has clinched the playoff spot. Remember to go support your Knights during the playoffs. It is officially bear hunting season as the Centennial Knights host the Cambridge Bears in the Fox 5 game of the week. The Fox 5 crew will be there to film the game, so don't forget to be there, be loud, especially on third downs, and don't forget to wear pink to watch the Knights hunt down the Bears. We are all tied up on our picks at 14 and 11 after I went 2 and 2 and Lennon went 1 and 3 in a week full of college football upsets. For our first of three college football games, we had the Red River rivalry as the number one Texas takes on the number 18 Oklahoma Sooners. Although they haven't really faced any tough opponents this year because Michigan isn't that good, I do think Texas wins their first difficult game. I think they take this one in a close one. I'm going with Texas. Quinn Ewers is finally back this week after Arch Manning starting the last couple. Texas, that offense is great. Oklahoma hasn't really proved a lot this season. I'm going with the Longhorns. Next, number three, Oregon is hosting the Ohio State Buckeyes, who are ranked number two in the college game day game of the week. I'm going with Oregon this week. I don't like Ohio State as a Michigan fan. The Ducks, their uniforms are great this week with the all black. Oregon's got this one. I'm also going with Oregon this week because I really like their jerseys. That's it. The number nine Ole Miss Rebels are heading to Baton Rouge to take on the number 13 LSU Tigers. Just like last week, I'm sticking with Ole Miss. I'm wide receiver one there in college football, as you know, so I got to stay with them. I'm going with the LSU Tigers this week. They've had some big wins the last couple weeks. I think that continues knocking off a ranked team. Go Tigers. For our only NFL game, we have the 4-1 Commanders facing the 3-2 Baltimore Ravens. I'm going with the Ravens this week. I picked them twice already this year. I think that continues. Lamar Jackson's looked really well since that 0-2 start. I think the Ravens take this one. I'm going with the Commanders this week. Jane Daniels has looked amazing. Looks like he could win Rookie of the Year and potentially MVP. So for that reason, I'm sticking with him and the Commanders. Well, that's it for Week 10 of CSPN. Hopefully tonight we'll see you on Fox 5 News. It's a dawn of a new day. A centennial blue sky. What's up, Centennial? I'm Carly. Welcome to our first episode of The Loft. Welcome to The Loft. Season 3 of The Loft. The first episode of The Loft. Season 5 of The Loft. Season 6 of The Loft. Enjoy Season 7, Episode 1 of The Loft. Welcome to your first episode of The Loft of this school year. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Johnson. I teach 11th grade American Literature and I teach 12th grade Dramatic Writing. And I am the club sponsor for Creative Writing Club. Uh, Creative Writing Club is pretty low key. Uh, basically the way that it works is we have students, we have about 20-ish regular students who come in once a week and um, they're writing in all genres. So we have students who are coming in writing poetry, we have students who are coming in writing plays and screenplays, a couple working on full novels. Um, but it's, a, it's about an hour and a half period after school where we uh, sit and we write and we discuss each other's work and criti uh, critique each other's work. Um, and it's a great time. We are here every Wednesday afternoon until five o'clock and uh, you should come out and join us. My name is Isabella Horace and I'm a sophomore. My name is JD Paxton and I am in uh, 10th grade. Um, my name is Oren Rubenstein and I'm in 10th grade. I joined Creative Writing because I thought that it would really help me as a writer and I had friends who were also thinking about joining and it was just overall a great way for me to do what I love with who I love. I joined the Creative Writing Club because I was like, I had a lot of ideas in my head and I didn't know what to do with them, so I went to Creative Writing to find like put them on a piece of paper. I had Mr. Johnson as my theater teacher before he moved to the English department. Um, so I really just joined because I liked him as a teacher. It's helped me take prompts and ideas and turn them into my own, and it's helped me overall become more dynamic as a writer. It has helped me develop by uh, helping me put my ideas like out there and figuring out how to like write them not correctly but like how to express my opinion in that way. I think it's gotten me a lot more confident in my writing 
and I feel a lot more comfortable sharing with other people. My favorite part about being in creative writing is at the end when we share like our stories and I like hearing other people's stories and other people react to my own. I think my favorite part about being in the creative writing club is the community and just because like it's so comfortable to like be around everyone and stuff. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Loft. Have a great weekend and we hope to see you all next week. Go Knights!